Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to a brand new video here today and something a little bit different but a very highly requested video on the channel and I see it in my comments all the time on every single video and this one is going to be a setup guide for every single track this year on F1 2020. So uh, all 22 tracks, all my setups pushed into one video. I did this video last year on F1 2019. The video did so well and you guys loved it. So we're doing it again this year by popular demand. I want to mention really quickly though, guys, if you want more specified or you know detailed little tips and tricks, I've done an entire hot lap and setup series, guys, per track, each track, all 22 circuits on the calendar this year. I'll leave a link, guys, to the entire playlist up in the top right-hand corner of your screen. I do recommend you check it out because, again, if it's a specific track you're struggling with, um, you can go check those laps out or, you know, specific circuits individually and you might find them informative. But today, guys, we are doing all the setups in one video, so let's jump into it. If you're going to enjoy the video, guys, find it informative and it helps you out, then help me out by dropping me a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel guys for more tips and tricks and daily f1 content and let's get the setups on the way okay guys so here we are then in the f1 2020 game a few more things i want to mention before the video starts before you start asking in the comments first of all in terms of the setups guys these are designed for offline career mode races my team career mode races and also online league races so 25 50 or 100 percent whatever it may be these setups are designed for the race these setups are not designed for hot lapping because if you do it for hot lapping and breaking world records, you could do a lot better on the setup and go a lot more aggressive to go faster. Um, these setups are made for, you know, being consistent in the race, keeping tire wear under control, minimizing uh, tire overheating as well, which is a key point. So bear that in mind. I also want to mention, guys, with these setups, they're all in the dry. If um, you guys wanted some tips and tricks for a wet setup, what I do advise generally is to add a little bit of rear wing and a little bit of uh, rear ride height. So maybe go plus one on the rear ride height and then maybe plus one on the rear uh, wing. Or possibly as well, you could go plus one front wing and plus two rear wing. Depends on how bad the situation is or how much confidence you're lacking. Uh, but generally add a little bit of ride height on the rear and a little bit of rear wing to give yourself more stability in the wet conditions. That's what I would advise. And finally, guys, I want to mention, I'm just going to be running you guys through the setups here. I'm not going to be talking about, you know, reasons as to why I've done that. You know, I'll save a setup guide, an actual explanation video for another video on another day. This one is purely about the setup. So let's jump into it and let's get it underway. Okay, so setup number one, we have Australia. It's 4.7 on the aerodynamics. Transmission is 55.55. Suspension geometry is negative 290, negative 140, 009032. Suspension 136913. Brakes 100 on the pressure, 50 on the bias, and then tires 21.8, 21.4, 20.7, .8, 20 and 20. Point three. We then load up setup number two, that is going to be Bahrain, and it's going to be 2.5 on the aerodynamics and 60.60 on the transmission. Suspension geometry in negative 270, negative 140, 009032. Suspension 135813, brakes 150 again, and the tire pressure is 23.0, 22.6, 20.7. 20.3 we're going to move into vietnam of course the brand new circuit and for this one we are running 3.6 on the aerodynamics transmission 55 50 suspension geometry negative 290 negative 140 008029 suspension 137914 brakes 100 pressure 50 on the bias tires 22.2 22.6 20.7 21.1 we then move into round four, and that is going to be Shanghai, China. The setup is three, seven on the aerodynamics. Transmission, 65, 55. Suspension geometry, negative 280, negative 120, 009029. Suspension, 136813. Brakes, 150 once again. Tire pressures, 22.6, 21.0, because the front left around China gets absolutely fried. Therefore, the pressure is on the lowest possible. And then 21.1 and 20.3. We then go into round five, another new track, or shall I say returning track, this time it's Zanvo. We have 4.7 on the aerodynamics, transmission 50-50, suspension geometry negative 290, negative 130, 008026, suspension 137015, brakes 100 pressure, 50 bias once again, tires 22.6, 21.8, 21.1, 20.7. Now we move into the Spanish Grand Prix. Let's go into that one. Aerodynamics, 3-7. Transmission, 60-60. Suspension geometry, negative 290, negative 130, 009029. Suspension, 146913. 
brakes 95 50 i'm trying to build my confidence up to 100 i'm not quite there yet around there tires 23.0 21.0 again because the front left around spain gets absolutely fried so keep that on the lowest possible pressure 21.1 20.3 we then move into monaco the jewel in the crown 811 on the aerodynamics very very high transmission 60 70 for me works pretty well suspension geometry negative 270 negative 130 005 028 suspension 156815 brakes 90 and 50 around monaco lockups are very easy and you want to try and avoid those therefore the pressure is a little bit lower than usual because if you lock up around monaco you're going to overheat your tires very easily so you want to try and make sure that you're going for longevity around there and consistency therefore less pressure will give you more consistency um, you can build your confidence up and gradually make your way up to 100 then fair play tires pressures uh 23.0 22.6 20.7 and 20.3 we then move into the next one baku let's go Downfalls, or should I say dynamics, 1.6 on the arrow, quite aggressive again because of the massive pitch straight. 50-50 transmission, negative 280, negative 150, 008, 029 suspension geometry. Suspension, 138814, brakes 150, tires 23.4, 23.8, 19.9, 20.3. As around Baku, the rear tires get quite hot. Canada is up next, setup wise, 3.6 arrow, transmission 55.50. Suspension geometry, negative 280, negative 140, 009, 029. Suspension, 137914. Brakes, 95, 50. Another track where I can't quite hit 100 pressure around there yet. And then the tires, 23.0, 22.6, 20.3, 19.9. We then move into the next one, France, Paul Ricard. 37 aerodynamics transmission 60 55 suspension geometry negative 280 negative 130 009 032 14 710 13 on the suspension brakes 96 50 around here and tires 23.0 21.8 21.1 20.7 the next track austria let's jump into it aerodynamics 25 on there pretty low transmission 50 50 suspension geometry negative 280 negative 140 009 032 suspension 137913 brakes 95 50 and then the tires 23.4 23.0 21.1 20.7 next up we have britain as we approach the halfway point of the calendar 36 aero 50 50 transmission suspension geometry negative 280 negative 120 009 029 suspension 146914 brakes 150 and tires 22.2 21.4 20.3 19.9 tire wear is pretty low at silverstone but overheating is very easy especially on the front left so make sure that pressure is nice and low Hungary up next so we've got 5.8 on the aerodynamics around there relatively high but not as high as you'd think transmission 50-50 suspension geometry negative 290 negative 130 008 026 suspension 146814 brakes 95-50 and the tyre pressures 22.6 21.0 20.7 19.9 again both left sided tyres get very hot around there Spa 2.4 on the aerodynamics around spa transmission 50 50 suspension geometry negative 290 negative 130 009 029 suspension 137014 brakes 95 50 and the tire pressures 23.4 23.0 21.1 20.7 we then move into the temple of speed monza the last european track on the calendar 13 on the aerodynamics around there extremely low extremely thin Transmission 55 55, suspension geometry negative 280, negative 130, 008, 029, suspension 146814, brakes 150, and then the tyres 23.0, 22.6, 20.7, 20.3. Once again, rear tyres get hot around there, so the tyres around the rear are a little bit, a little bit less on the pressure compared to other tracks. Singapore. 6.9 aerodynamics, not as high as maybe you think around there, but there is a couple of straights. You need to be competitive on those. Transmission, 50-50. Suspension geometry, negative 290, negative 130, 008-026. 136.814 on the suspension. And then on the brakes, it's going to be 95.50 with the tire pressures very low. 21.0, 21.8, 19.5, and 19.9. Singapore is another circuit where tires overheat like crazy, so the pressures are pretty low around there. Russia 2.7 aerodynamics because of the massive 
pit straight and back straight. Transmission, 7050, quite aggressive on that one as well. Suspension geometry, negative 260, negative 120, 007-023. This setup is quite extreme. Russia tire wear is very low. You can really push this a bit more. 2.4 on the suspension, 8.9 on the roll bar, 1.3 on the height. And then we go brakes, 100, and then 52 on the bias. I actually find that I can run it a bit more towards the front around there, and it actually works better for me. Tires, 23.0, 22.6, 20.7, and 20.7. Quite high pressures around there because, again, it's a flat track. Tire wear is pretty low. Japan, my favorite track, 2.6 on the aerodynamics. Transmission, 65.55. Suspension geometry, negative 270, negative 120, 008, 029. Suspension, 147914. Brakes, 150. And then the tires, 22.2, 21.8, 20.3, and 19.9. We're getting there now, USA, the fourth from last track, is going to be 3.6 on the aerodynamics. Transmission, 60-60. Suspension geometry, negative 280, negative 140, 007, and 029. Suspension, 146814. Brakes, 92-52 around there. I can't quite get it quite right. USA is not my best track. Um, I struggle to get good consistency around there. So I'm still kind of finding my best brakes around that track, and it's something I struggle with. Tires 21.8, 22.2, 19.9, and 20.3. We then move into Mexico, and it's going to be 3.7 on the aerodynamics. Transmission 50 50, suspension geometry negative 280, negative 140, 007, 029. Suspension 137814. Brakes 150 around here. And tire pressure is 22.2, 21.8, and then 19.9 on both rears. As once again, it's another track where the rear tires get pretty hot and wear out quite quickly. We then move into Brazil, 3.8 on the aerodynamics, 50-50 again, transmission, suspension geometry, negative 260, negative 110, 006, 023. Quite aggressive on that because Brazil is quite low on tire wear. 147813 suspension. Brakes 150 and the tire pressure is again not super low 22.2, 22.6, 20.3, 20.7. And then we move into the final track, which is going to be Abu Dhabi, and it's 3.6 on the aerodynamics. Transmission is 50 50. Suspension geometry negative 270, negative 130, 008, 026. Suspension 145813. Brakes 150 once again, and finally the tire pressures 22.6, 23.0, 19.9, 20.3. 9, Pretty much that is it, guys. Abu Dhabi as well is another track where rear tire wear is very high, but there you go. That is all the setups, guys, that I run on this year's game. And like I said, if you want a wet setup, just add on a little bit of rear wing or a rear ride high, whatever you find that works best for you. But guys, that is it from me here today. More tutorials on the channel very soon. On screen right now, guys, I'll leave you guys with the previous one, which was the camera settings, along with the entire playlist so far, guys, including wheel settings. But if you guys enjoyed this video, drop me a like. Subscribe if you're new for more F1 content, tips and tricks. And I'll see you guys in my next one very soon. But until then, it's goodbye from me.